What's going on everyone? It's Dash Cool. In today's video we're going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch. You can see my phone in the screen. So, let's talk about the Nintendo Switch. First of all, this video is going to kind of be like a rant. So, if you haven't noticed, this is the Nintendo Switch. Ta-da! Hello. It's nice, it's cool, it's fun, and this is all the rage right now. And let me tell you why. Well, it's the newest system from Nintendo. It's got a controller that can pop off and play like this or click onto a little pad and play like a controller or you can even turn them sideways and play with them like mini controllers cool cool right right so if you want a real in-depth review go to some other channel and watch oh it's playability i'm going to talk to you about the games and the pros and cons mostly the cons of this system so number one Nintendo Switch is supposed to be a portable console from Nintendo. Well, cool, it's portable. I can sit here and, and play with it. I can go on the toilet, have a nice poop, and play my Shovel Knight or whatever I want to play. I can plug it into my TV. I can use this as a controller, and I can play on TV like every other major video game system. The, the problem I have with the Nintendo Switch is that why would you spend 300 to $400 on a video game system that you can take places? You're going to tell me you're going to take this to work and play it at work. Are you going to take it to school and play it at school and someone steals it out of your backpack? Are you going to take it with you on the bus and public transportation on the subways and someone robs you for a Nintendo Switch? Come on. Seriously. Think about this. Be real. So, out of all practicality, let's talk about games. The games for the Switch are terrible. The game selection for the Switch, I should say, is terrible. Okay, day one, I just bought the Switch and a few games. Well, Bomberman, for instance. That was the game I was most excited to play. Bomberman R. Super Bomberman R. I've been playing Bomberman since N64. Super Bomberman R is a terrible game. If you were, like, insanely inebriated or a child, it would be fun. I wouldn't even say that. I would say if you're a child or if you're someone with very low intelligence, it's fun. The idea is still the same, but the game is, is terrible. The game for DS had so much more stuff to do. 1-2 Switch. It's an okay game. I mean, it has its pros and cons, but... Like, in all honesty, why would you want to flip this little tiny kickstand down and play 1-2 Switch? Like, why? Why? You have a bunch of people over and you're all plastered and you're all drunk? Yeah, it's a really fun game. But why did you make me spend $60? Why did you make me spend $60 for a game that was engineered in the world's most expensive commercial? Most of these people in the game act like they're in some kind of commercial. What? 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 Don't get me wrong, the game is fun to an extent, but it gets old. You spend $60 on a game that the system should come with, and then you regret your purchase. B like, who does that? I guess people who have the Switch do that, because Nintendo, you didn't want to give us anything for free, you want to make us pay for everything. On a second note, I got the Neon Joy-Cons that come with the system. I purchased the gray ones, okay? This little insert comes where you can get your Joy-Cons, slide them off, and slide them on to have a controller. It's missing one thing, the ability to charge. So you have to go and you have to purchase an aftermarket from Nintendo, non-stock with the Switch, Nintendo clear charging controller thing for your Joy-Cons. Not a pro controller, just the thing that charges your Joy-Cons. So you can plug this into your USB 2.0 on your computer or the wall or your butt or wherever you plug those things in and you can charge it. So the point I'm trying to make here is that the people who bought the Switch initially, I guess, to play Legend of Zelda are still having fun with it. It hasn't been fun for me since the first weekend. I beat Shovel Knight, I beat Bomberman within that weekend, and you can't really beat one to Switch. The other games they're releasing for, Neo Geo games, these other games, like the thing of Isaac and stuff like that, the sadistic and it's sick and it's weird. And I'm waiting for Mario Kart and Smash to come out. There's no other titles I really like. I mean, this to me, 
was a waste of money. So, the Switch is supposed to be restocked on the 22nd of March at GameStop and maybe some other places. So go out and get you one and get disappointed. Go buy Skylanders or something really fun. Play with your kids. But, like, in retrospect, it was a terrible buy. It was an impulse buy. Yeah, I have one. And maybe a bunch of people have one and people don't have one and watch this video and they're like, Man, how can you say that? You're lucky you have a Switch. Yeah, I'm so lucky that I get to get to play games that are terrible. Thanks, Nintendo. You should have stuck with the Wii. You should have made a better version of the Wii. And then instead you gave us the Wii U. And now we have this.